Today we're making a yummy anti-inflammatory juice. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa West and welcome to Thirsty Thursdays. I'm so excited to share with you the recipe I have today and actually both Tim and Trinity are really excited to try this juice too. They've been waiting for me to make it on today's um, video to try it out. So this was a request from one of our open-hearted graduates, Lisa, who filmed the Surya Namaskar A and B for our membership site. She requested an anti-inflammatory juice and I went and did some research for her and found this juice in one of my juicing books. And I, as soon as I saw it, I thought, mm, I have to make this for Thursday Thursdays. So let me tell you a bit about inflammation in your body first and then we'll make the juice. So first of all, let's look at what inflammation is in your body. Things like minor injuries, infections, to more serious conditions such as migraines, fibromyalgia, arthritis, and colitis can result in inflammation in your body. So what happens is your body responds to infections, toxins, and injury by creating inflammation in your body. Your body's inflammatory response can range from redness and swelling to pain and heat. So foods high in beta-cryptosan will help with inflammation and these include peppers, pumpkin, winter squash, which we're going to use today, we're using butternut squash, um, persimmons, which are delicious, they're amazing in smoothies and juices, tangerines, papayas are, are have this in them, xanthin, uh, which is found, zeanthin, which is found in leafy green vegetables, yellow and orange fruits and veggies, is also a cardinoid that helps reduce inflammation and also has anti-inflammatory qualities. So there are some other fruits and veggies that help reduce inflammation and I'll put them in the show notes so that you can create your own anti-inflammatory juices, but let me show you what we're going to make today. We're going to juice two apples, half a butternut squash. Now I know everybody's kind of surprised that you can juice things like butternut squashes and sweet potatoes and yams, but you can, you can't, you don't just have to cook those and eat those, you can juice them and they're quite delicious. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and I think it's going to be absolutely delicious. So let's go ahead and juice all this up and have our special treat today. I know Tim and Trinity were getting pie at the grocery store last night and I was like, hang out and wait out for this juice. I think it's going to be just as good, if not better. Okay, so we've juiced all our butternut squash and we're going to, there's actually quite a bit of foam on this, so I'm just going to skim the foam off the top. Some, you know, some fruits and vegetables just create more foam. I find that is just the case from all the juicing that I do. That's okay, you just skim it off the top. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So some of this is making it on the spoon and some is going directly in. <laughs> and then we'll just stir that all in. And then we'll trust that that'll get all whisked in when we run it through our strainer. Okay, so there we have it, our anti-inflammatory juice. Oh my God, that is delicious. It tastes like mm, apple pie, pumpkin pie all together. So try this juice out. Let me know how you like it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. Finding a great yoga class is becoming more costly and difficult. Now there's a better way to self-improvement in the privacy of your own home. Visit Dr. Melissa West at melissawest.com and start getting free weekly online videos. Real yoga for real people.